Hey guys, Daniela here, mental health counselor. Um, I want you guys to challenge yourself this week and next week since it's break um, of coping skills um, that you can go to. So you're going to make like a calming box or a coping skill box. It can be an actual box or somewhere you can go to to pick these things out. Um, we talked about this in group a couple of weeks ago and some of the things that we talked about that coping skills are good for us is that it helps you change your mood, helps you keep at ease, helps to change your mindset when um, and you're in like a high stress or when you're in this like huge emotion. Um, they're kind of like these short term like happiness or feel good um, things to do. Um, and that's why it should be things you love to do. It's a healthy distraction. And sometimes it could just be sitting in that feeling um, and naming that feeling. So some of the things that we kind of, you know, uh, generically put together um, are things like breathing, uh, talking to a friend, exercise, taking walks, writing, watching funny videos, listen or write to music. And this one can be a good one that sometimes if you need to sit in that feeling, you can listen to sad music. And sometimes if you need to get out of that funk, uh, you listen to some kind of like upbeat music. Uh, art, lots of drawing, uh, painting, um, getting that out of your system. And you know what? One of my favorite ones that we came up with is yelling a pillow. Um, sometimes we're full of rage and we just got to get that out. You can just scream on the top top of your lungs somewhere maybe or in your pillow. Um, those are just a very few of what we came up with. But So that's the challenge for you guys um, that I want you guys to think of is some coping skills. And the key to successful coping skills is doing them often when you actually don't need them. So I work with a lot of little kids and I teach them breathing exercises and counting like to 10 and things like that. And it's almost like when you just make it kind of a game or like, okay, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to breathe in and out, in and out when you're calm so that when you're in that high state of whatever emotion you're in, you're able to remember and your brain goes, oh yeah, this is how, this is how I breathe through this. So consistency in doing these coping skills often and making those coping skills uh, something that uh, is something that you enjoy doing. Um, if breathing is not your thing, then, you know, maybe drawing is. If drawing is not your thing, maybe writing in a journal is. So uh, I always say a good handful, good five um, coping skills that you do often and that you can go to. Um, so that's the mental health challenge this week. I hope you guys are doing great. Lunch group, you guys, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 1120. Seriously, if you need some social life right now, come on, talk to me. We kind of just, there's no topic or anything of the day. We're kind of just chit-chatting during lunch. Wednesdays at 1030 is group. You come and go as you please. There's usually some kind of topic. Sometimes we're just giving advice to one another um, and supporting each other and staying with a good mindset. All right, you guys, you take care. Um, have a good day.